Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Well, what have we here? Uh, it's a podcast. Fine. And what excitement we have today. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Hi, everybody. Uh, right out of the gate, we uh, want to get to our guest, right? Because he, he's on a time crunch. Am I right about that, Josh? Yeah, it's a busy week for him. He's uh, talking to a lot of people, and from uh, what I gleaned from watching him last night on Mike's weather page, uh, he's kind of in the uh, in the bullseye. So uh, let's I, get uh, Mike. I did on not from like his post last night. Uh, he posted he posted a little scary post on Facebook last night. Well, I think there are a lot of guys that are out there that are uh, that are doing this, and uh, we've had Mike on the show before. Mike, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, uh, yes, we're sir. here to talk hurricanes and. Uh, it's uh, it's funny because we do get, I don't know if you're like me, Mike, but you get a false sense of security uh, when you get midway through September. You kind of say, hey, oh. okay, uh, not bad, and then pow. Damn. And it's a, it seems like overnight. There's the system. It's uh, spinning down there off of uh, Cuba. Right. And uh, I wrote down this morning, this one makes me nervous, just because uh, it hasn't even formed yet, or maybe it's forming as we speak, as we tape this. Uh, eight eighteen Eastern Time on uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, what's the very latest, and has anything changed since I walked away from my television probably an hour and a half ago? Well, these things take time. I call I, I re- refer to them almost like watching a soap opera. You know, I mean, yeah. it's like a ongoing update. Oh, what's next? You know, and I mean, you hit the nail on the head. And one one part of my messaging that I try to get out every year is that once football and fall comes around, it just seems like it stops. Hurricane season's over. People have hurricane hangover, I call it. Oh, absolutely. We're done with it. We're, we're hyped up in April and May about the, the record season coming and yeah. people are expecting, you know, 25 storms by now. Right. But I'm telling you, it, it, it does not matter how many storms we get. It's like people want 25 storms, but if 25 storms turn into the ocean as fish storms, it's that one storm you got to worry about. And that's what defines the season. So and this one, we like, are. Um, it, it's, it, I was just at the gas station. Half people there don't even know what's coming. The other half, we're out, you know, we're out of gas. So I don't think people are paying attention on a system because it's not named yet. Uh, and it's two days away. It's like, I, I don't think I've ever really seen a PTC forecast to be a major hurricane. So it's, it's would really- it be possible at this point? I know, you know, a lot of people, would it be possible to get this system named after this show? <laughs> oh, you mean like any any moment? You mean yeah, any- uh, yeah, I like Hurricane Mike O'Mara show. I'm because they say any uh, press is good press, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I like the name Mike. I mean, hell, let's, let's <laughs> no, lie. seriously. Mean- on a serious note, what would what is it that you posted last night that flipped Josh out? What was your Facebook? Post oh, there's a little alcohol. In oh, I, I've got it right here. <laughs> oh, good. Read away. Won't eight, you? Eight hours ago. Going to bed tonight. I am worried. Worried oh, about no. the what ifs. Worried that no one's taking this serious. This system in an area that historically can be something big and because something big fast. Yeah, and then okay, it goes here's on. here and, and here's the thing about it. And this is why even down here uh outside of uh the the cone of death in Fort Myers, Florida, um you know, we're going to see some effects of it, uh, right. but but I still don't trust that forecast because we've had those I I remember little storm just a couple of years ago that was going up to Tampa just like this one, little thing called Ian. Uh, yeah. And it hasn't formed yet, and it's going to form rapidly when it does. Right. Did they? Uh, here's one question I have for you. Did they expect this thing to be formed by now, at least into a tropical system? No. And, and, okay. And, and, All right. So, so they're accurate. It's, it's To me, it's following. And the reason I brought those concerns up is obviously Ian was one that caught so many people off guard because they were focusing on the center part of that cone. Yep. Um the intensity models that, that I follow and I research and, and post, you know, they're showing 920, 930 range hurricane, you know, and, and it's a wide system. So, like, we're, I, we got five to eight foot uh, surge for the Tampa Bay area. I don't think we ever had that hit us. And no. that means massive evacuations are coming for Pinellas County. I know it. People are going to be like, what? We're being evacuated. Um, and then the winds, like if it does go to Tallahassee, you know, that's a, that's a lot of population up there and a lot of trees that never have experienced uh, this. So, and, and the other thing that I try to stress is the inland effects. Like, so this system is going to have far reaching uh, East coast impacts and you guys, especially we're going to see feeder bands as early as Wednesday and they're going to have tornado warnings in them. Right. Uh, 
so yeah, it, it's, you know, I don't, I don't, I never want to sound like I'm hyping, but I think it's my job but from what I've learned with hurricanes to kind of put almost the worst case because I couldn't agree more. Yeah, you got to be ready. Yeah. Apart, you know, they, they uh, you know, like, look, all you have to do is uh, take a look at an area after one of these things, which I've done. And I have my family on the East Coast uh, during Ian and then came back over right away. Uh, and when you see tons of shipping, and I'm talking about the entire shrimp boat f uh, fleet, and we're not talking about small ships here. We're talking about massive shrimp boats made of steel, steel-hulled vessels that have been tossed onto a parking lot from the bay and just thrown up on the bay it is and then you go over to fort myers beach and you see what uh water can do and it ain't the wind guys right. it's what uh mike yeah. was just talking about the storm surge so it, you know i'm in tampa right now i'm making my arrangements Good. i mean at least now at least you make those arrangements right. i'm uh i'm watching it every hour like, of every day here like funeral arrangements <laughs> so Arra arrangements to get out of dodge oh and okay. to very good uh to evacuate and go and have look they say none of these old cliches uh are cliches to me anymore they're all real and it's have a plan and have mm -hmm. a plan for uh we have a lot of listeners in the tampa bay area and um you know i just think that i it freaks me out to hear that you're like at the gas station uh, and you're hearing people that, you know, half of them aren't even aware of it. It does seem like a false sense of security until it's right on top of people. Too late. Yeah. And, 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 and just for example, I uh, went to Chili's for dinner last night and good choice. I love Chili's. Well, <laughs> but three of the four that were there looked at me sideways. I swear to God, this happens more and more every year. I, I think people are turning off the news They're turning off, you know, they turn their, their heads, uh, for days and next thing you know, it's upon us. Um, and what's happened with, like you mentioned in Fort Myers, so many old time Floridians, you know, I, so my tone this year has been, don't be stubborn. I've turned into a Debbie da Downer. Like I'm, as you get older, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I, mm. And I tell so my post this morning was about the surge and I'm like, and if this doesn't happen, don't get mad because there's, right. it might not happen for everybody. Well, you're living this uh minute by minute. Give us the very latest that you have on yep. uh, timetable, track, intensity, all the good Definitely. stuff. Well, it's uh, the, the track. It's, the track has been uh, on point, which is good. We we haven't seen a lot of wiggle and wobble. The steering currents are there, but it's a wide reaching system. So I think a lot of folks in the peninsula are focused on that center line and that eyeball, and they're not realizing that we're going to see effects way inland. That's why we have hurricane watches up, which are going to turn to warnings uh, south of Tampa Bay. Um, and then the surge is a huge factor. And along with the flooding rains, our, our saturation levels in Florida are very high. We've had a well, lot of been, rain. It's been one of the wettest summers yep. I ever remember down so here. So they're worried about trees going down easier. So, um, and of course, whoever gets that eye, if, if it is a 920, 930 millibar, it's, it's, it's total devastation. What is I mean, that category when, when it, you it say that? Four, and I, I saw a few runs hitting five. So there I saw I saw three today, uh, right before I came in right. here. Has that changed at all? No, or? It's, no, officially a three. And what's, what worries me is they have that three, and this is one beef with, with that I, I would love them to change. They have the three several, several miles off shore. It's what it does from that three to landfall. And most of the models are showing it intensified before landfall. The next marker is inland. So you get that false sense of what's it do from three to the landfall? So and I want to, I want to emphasize that point, Mike, because, uh, years ago when I did a documentary, just narrating, but I got a lot of the information and it mm -hmm. stuck when I did that documentary, uh, the track they've gotten much better at. They're, they're really good at it. It's amazing that they're able to do it, but the intensity that is not only subject to change at the last hour, mm -hmm. but it is also more difficult to predict. Well, and, and part of the tone of last night's message was uh, these global models that we use, the GFS, the Euro, they, they don't do a very good job with intensity. So people see a 980 millibar system. They're like, ah, they're hyping it. Um, so that's my worry. Like you just mentioned, the, the Gulf of Mexico. So one last stat, I, 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 the most amazing stat to me is the United States has had 10 hurricanes that have hit as 150 miles an hour or greater. Okay. Nine of those were tropical storms three days before. 
Okay, three days before they were only tropical storms. Ian was 55 mile an hour on Monday. It was 160 on Wednesday. That mm. that's hard to believe, and people think you're hyping, but it happens, and it's going to happen again. And that's why the conditions in the Gulf are so favorable for development. And it's scary for a lot of Mets to go out on a limb. I think, and and that's why it's tough doing what I do because I, you know, you get a lot of criticism, but you almost have to go with gut feeling anymore. I called it hurricane heat the other day. Like we get this intense high pressure that builds over Florida before with these massive hurricanes. And we had it the last few days. And um, so, yeah, that's just, it's just, we got to watch it close, take it serious and don't, don't be stubborn. I don't want to, I don't want to turn this into anything like, you know, political or anything argumentative, but is it getting worse? Is the water getting warmer and it's causing it to get worse? What is making it more, or is it just more accurate statistic keeping? Is it getting worse? Well, yeah, because if you think about it, we had Andrew in 92. Right. I really wasn't involved as much as I am now, but I don't think we really had anything to 04. Like there was a long stretch of like no news breaking hurricanes. So, you know, since 16 and 17, it seems like every year we have some massive storm, right. be it Harvey or, yeah, I can name them off. It seems like every year we have that one storm. And uh, yes, yeah, so I, you know, I mean, there are statistical 30 year averages and I put them out there. I don't turn political, but we are warmer. Then, yeah, now, I don't yes. know what it was 500 years ago. Irrefutable. I, I Irrefutable. Yeah, um, and I want to bring up a point about the Gulf of Mexico on the Florida coast. The uh, If you take a big bucket and you try to splash the bucket of a big, deep bucket, you try to splash that water out of that bucket, it's, it's not as easy as if you take a similar size width of bucket, but you make it real shallow. Like then that water pan. just easily gets pushed out. And that's the Gulf Coast. That's why the storm surge here is Huge. so intense and it happens so quickly. Am I right shallow about shelf, that? Right. Correct. Shallow shelf, um, slow moving systems. You know, take your hand in a bathtub and just push that water, you know, and it, it goes. It builds. Uh, Hurricane Ike was a category two and it was 20 foot of storm surge. So, you know, uh, every storm's different. That's the problem. I feel so bad for these forecasters because Charlie was six to eight foot. You know, Ian was almost double, triple that, you know. Um, so you just... You're right. And, and the Gulf's is so hot. We have the Gulf Stream. You know, Jimmy Buffett sung about it. Um, yep. It swallows out on the Gulf Stream. Well, right. that is fuel. That is hot water. And, and these things are riding up this loop current right now. And if we have a weird phenomenon in the Atlantic, this is the hottest part of the whole ocean. And we get bad hurricanes. So um, that's kind of why I raised the, the threat a little bit, because, you know, we, we see him. We're going to see him again. Uh, yeah, we are. Mike, uh, thanks so much for all the information. We know you're a busy guy today, and uh, you're going to be doing some other interviews. So please, uh, you you are uh, – your town exactly uh, – where is it again? Where are you located? Well, so I live in Oldsmar, which is the top of Tampa Bay, and I got a, a room reservation for my girls in Lakeland and my mom and dad. I mean, we, we – we have surge that show on Tampa Road underwater. Now I, I have a hard time believing that, but but that water in that bay pushes up Tampa side too. I mean it it you know they're showing higher surge than we saw with Idalia, and and a lot of flooding happened with Idalia, and that was a, a, a not a stronger storm. So right, I think Pinellas County and I think I, did, I my gut is people are going to be hearing evacuation orders soon, and it's going to it'll wake everybody up. Like what are you talking about? And that's oh, that'll prove right there that nobody listens. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I hope yeah. they do Keep because, screaming, you know, Mike. loss screaming, of life, yeah. people on the beach surfing, all the stupid stuff. I tell you, once you get one, yeah. uh, you, you, the world changes, and we are vigilant down here. We are watching it every minute, even though we are on, uh, well, we're on the tough side, the east side of it. But, side, side. Uh, you know, we'll feel effects of it. We're going to feel, we're, we've got feeder bands in uh, over us now that are uh, just uh, yeah. on the, uh, you know, the, the, not feeder bands as much as uh, pop-ups that are, part of this system it's massive it's going to be yeah. another one of these massive storms that we get and uh i just want to before we let you go uh as far as our man josh on the other side of the state over in saint augustine yeah. florida uh that once that hits land is uh is it going to go anywhere near uh the you know the the other side at all uh, the, uh, there'll be some sneakies see and the problem with watches and warnings sometimes they, they have to issue them 48 hours advance so we're kind of seeing the progression. And I think a lot of people say, oh, I'm only in a watch. Well, that watch is 48 hours. Warning yeah. comes 36 hours. So um, the, the the main threat in St. Augustine is going to be an isolated feeder band. I mean, it's no worse, honestly, than an afternoon thunderstorm. Um, this is not going to stop and stall. So unless you're in that core, you know, cone, um, it, it might not be any worse than what we get in the summertime. And Washington, 
in Washington, D.C., still misty through the weekend? <laughs> oh, I, my brain's focused on. <laughs> yeah. I'm, only, I'm only kidding you, Mike. I'm sorry. Our, our oh, favorite know, football or what? I don't even know. Uh, you a, are our favorite uh, weather geek. We appreciate it. Go oh, do what you. you do. We know you'll be doing it for the next few days. And uh, if you yeah. want to go to find out about this and you're, you know, near this or you yeah. want to find out just because you're curious, it's Mike's Weather page dot yeah, com. He, and uh, you can Google Mike's Weather page and uh, get there this way. Mike, we appreciate you taking yeah, the time to chat with us. Stay safe. OK. Yeah. And I'm storm chasing. So tune in if this thing I'm, I'm that crazy guy in the middle of the eye. So I, <laughs> I'll be looking at you. I'll be watching you. Right. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. We Thank appreciate you, Mike. it. That's Mike from uh, Mike's weather page. And uh, we sit and we watch and the paranoia when I wrote down uh, that this one makes me nervous is because <laughs> it's not exactly the same track. Uh, the other one, Ian came down well, they uh, never underneath exact, the, the, right? uh, the, well, Ian came down under the peninsula, uh, okay. you know, and, but, it's in the same vicinity, so you, well, and you know, no one understands crazy. how wide these storms are. They're massive. They see the they see the the core, and it's like, oh, the core is going to miss Fort Myers, but you're going to get all that rain on the back end. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. It's a, no. it's it's a weird, weird time, you know. Um, the good news I, is though is he's got a place for his folks in uh, Lakeland, and I think that's where those sexy seniors live. So mm -hmm. they should have a great week. <laughs> I have, you know, Lakeland is interesting. Because I have one of my locations is Lakeland. Uh, one of your, it's your you, where you go to when the well, yeah, out? but with Ian, I I was doing that before I went over to uh, Fort Lauderdale because um, you know it changed its uh, direction, and so uh, but that's one of my go tos. Um, it, it's weird being to to try to communicate what being a Floridian down here is like. Um, the I don't know. I don't want to say the majority because I don't think it's the majority. However, a S ton of people stay put. And if I went down my street right now, I would say it's conservative. Every third house has a whole house generator because okay. they hang in there. I have never had a generator. And my plan, because they say have a plan, is get out of Dodge. When, uh, you know, when we're not in that sphere... We're very aware of the rain and everything else. However, being as far inland as I am, uh, I don't. If we if we did okay with Ian, we'll do okay uh, with pretty much. That's pretty much a cat four direct hit, and uh, and we were okay. So I keep an eye on it. But even if that's coming directly at Fort Myers, doesn't matter that I'm inland. I get out of Dodge. That's my of plan. It's I safe. leave. I leave. And if you are somebody listening to my voice right now and you don't have a plan. I would recommend wholeheartedly that you don't run out and scramble and try to get stuff. You make an arrangement, if you can, if you have the means to do it, to get your family out of Dodge and go somewhere where it's safe. And in the case of this storm, you can go to the other side. Uh, you know, Southeast Florida would be a, a place that has plenty of opportunities for motels to stay at with your, your family. But uh, be aware... All you have to do is take a peek and see, you know, the time lapse. You've all seen it. I showed you stuff on the show uh, from what Storm Surge does. That's the that's the whole enchilada yeah. with these. Yes, there are tornadoes. Yes, there are high winds. Yes, me uh, media loves to show the roofs uh, blowing off. But make no mistake, coastal areas, low-lying areas with Storm Surge and a shallow shelf get absolutely whacked we had it yeah. at mexico beach we had it at fort myers beach and uh you know we'll see we'll see what's happening but uh, everybody please, please the, stay safe the people that there, stay the people that stay 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 put and sort of is it because they don't want to miss a dental appointment <laughs> that's a senior citizen joke i appreciate that <laughs> the, they all the, they're very scheduled mike <laughs> it is truly what mike said it's complacency yeah. It's, and and stubbornness, you know, stubbornness. It's a lot too. of it's a lot of stubbornness. Yeah, I, I see it on the. I saw it on Facebook this morning as parents would ask on like the school pages and stuff. Hey, is school going to be closed on Thursday? How are people preparing for this? And then you get the people who are longtime Florida people, and they think if you are asking about a hurricane, you just moved here. You need to get out of our state. You don't know how to handle this. Yeah, they're yeah. shaking their the, cane. The long term the people are like, yeah. yeah, no, we just have a party down the street, and you'll be fine. Yeah, and it's stupid. Uh, and it's and look, and those are the same people that uh, won't react to something until it directly hits them over the head. 
I, uh, you know, I consider the whole area. I am across the street from a neighborhood where my buddy's house was destroyed. Mm -hmm. And it took him eight months, nine months to rebuild. And many, many people just across uh, the Tamiami Trail, named after Tampa and Miami, and across the street. Mike, it's a portmanteau. It's a combination of two words. There it is. A portmanteau. Very good. See, Thank there's you. the magna. Um, but I, I couldn't I couldn't believe that that happened. So I, I was enlightened about this. My wife's business. Uh, six foot plus storm surge. Um we got some thinking to do because it'll take out the shopping yeah. center she's in. Uh, so it's it's a scary time. But you for also us brought here. up, Mike, the biggest stupid people of all are the surfers. And why does it bother me so much? That because they, get out there? they are usually uh, an hour to two to three hours away from uh, a devastating situation right. down and there, frolicking. and that's what they were. And nobody knows what uh, you know whether they got off the island, whether they. And by the way, it's an island, a sterile island. Ah, it just uh, I want it. But by the way. Um, what what Mike was saying regarding uh, Tampa, and we've heard this, and we've heard this, and we've heard this. The we talk about the shallows. Apparently, Tampa Bay is really, really susceptible to this kind of a storm. So, and, and it's dodged many a bullet recently. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, what is. And this thing, the only good news, if you want to call it good news, is it is fast moving. Uh, Ian was not. Ian was a slow-moving slow storm, and it lasted and lasted and lasted, and that caused more devastation. So we shall see. Uh, I'll be here giving you updates uh, you know, tomorrow on what's going on for our world. And I think uh, for the rest of you and the rest of the country, uh, you know, thank you for taking time to pay attention to this because it uh, it's very much a reality for all of us down here in South Florida. So uh, good luck to everybody that's out there. Uh, and I think that the fatigue he was talking about regarding uh, media in general may also be who the F wants election season to be over. Oh, God. Absolutely. It is just, it's not about anything other than the game. And I know it is and because I am a politics junkie and I am even burned yeah. to a crisp. With this poll and that poll and this poll, do you and think that anything poll. would change if election day was tomorrow versus November what fourth? I, you know what, it, it, I guess early voting has started in many areas, but yeah. this is just sometimes when I'm listening to it. You know, I'm a news junkie as well, Rob. Yeah. So I'm listening to these uh, talking heads, and I can't help but get the. Uh, impression when I'm listening to these that they want more than anything else. They want three days of this thing. They want mm -hmm. this to be razor thin, not being able to call it, and it's just on and on and on. And I am burned to a crisp, especially yeah, with the lack they, of civility in our politics right that's now. That's where the news know? organizations are making hay. They love yeah. it. They it's love a, a tight election. That's like right. a Christmas present. I, and uh, the fact yeah. is, is that I think the more sensible people, the non-surfers in the world, as the hurricane approaches, uh, we're worried about a peaceful transition of power. And I just right. want it to happen, you know? Just want the election to be over. Please. And I, I want to move on. I want I want two years of peace. I uh, That's I'll, all. I'll that's ask all for I three. Want. Three? I, three? I think you're, you're, that's election season again, once you get into three. Yeah, but so. I mean, let's uh, let's just hope for three. Three is nice. Three is a magic number. I hope so. You know. <laughs> uh, are you burned on it, Josh? I am, I am in some ways. I just don't believe anything I see anymore. <laughs> like That's because not a bad every way to go. every poll is every day. It's a it's a different thing. Every day they're, they're clicking on the map and showing this is how yeah. Kamala gets to two seventy. This is how Trump gets to two seventy. Here's how we could have a stalemate and no one gets to two seventy. It's a game. It's like this it's, big giant game. Oh, the post put out is. a the post put out a press release today. The five paths that we can take for Kamala. That's I mean that's that was an entire press release for the Washington Post. Yeah, so, and it just goes on and on and on. And I know that that's their job. That uh, that's what they have. But it's with just, the election uh, approaching. Josh, are you still on that text chain with JD Vance? Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> pointing out all the, I'm pointing out the cats on the barbecues and. 
Let me know. If yeah. um, all right. I want to promote something. We've got the Naked Greed Money oh, Grubbing yes. Radiothon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh put up some great graphics for our Naked Greed Money Grubbing Radiothon uh, that we will be underwriting our live show in bed. Oh, is that the, is that the thing now? That's the theme. We want to support <laughs> the us in Vegas. Even if you it. can't make it there, uh, help us out, okay? Yeah. Kind of expensive to travel out there, and we're doing the very best we can to uh, put it all together. Can we see that again? I love yeah. that yeah, graphic. Yeah, it's a great, That's it's beautiful. A great graphic. Ladies next, and gentlemen, yes. Uh, next October time we'll look 5th. at the uh, price of flights before we schedule a Vegas trip. Yes, uh, now, that's now, uh, now. Been, been a little problem. <laughs> Josh, I have a question yeah. for Josh. you. Josh. <laughs> Josh, uh, I'm here. Wh- when are you planning on booking your flight? Uh, today. <laughs> okay. All right. Just checking. Will you put a, will Making you put me a, a little nervous. On, you know? Put a post on Facebook when you've done it just so we know. Well, I wanted to make sure I'm still working here. Come like, November. Uh, uh, okay. I get it. I would think I the it. worry would be after the show. No, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. Um, he's kidding, people. He I knows he's been, working here. I, yeah, no, I'm, it's a joke. I'm not planning to leave. Yes. Good. Um, I'm not planning no, to fire you I, either. Uh, no, I just delayed it, and then I focused on other flights and figuring out baseball postseason has me all screwed up with my with schedule. It's a priority for him, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah. He cares. <laughs> he so, cares, and the Orioles are in the hunt. And we've so been deciding on. if the wife is going or not to Vegas, so that's, that has been delaying things. But, yes, we talked this morning. I will be booking my flight today. Well, uh, good luck uh, with everything, but uh, you know, uh, that, just be aware of our uh, naked greed money grubbing radiothon. Mike, what uh, it's did a you consult show. other than postseason? What did you consult before you booked your flight? Uh, Travelocity. Oh, is that was your consultant? Yeah, I checked all the holy days of obligation. Have they have they come down at all? Uh, no, in since, fact, no. they've gone the other direction. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, yeah. isn't that it great? Is. So, yeah, maybe uh, I'll just drive. Don't drive. Don't <laughs> drive to Las Vegas, please. No. <laughs> drive to I'm going to take a bus. Vegas, be I won't drive bus, to yeah. Las Vegas. That Josh. Is, that uh, is the decision I came up with for postseason baseball, though. And whenever okay. I talk about the uh, Vegas show now or the Naked Greed Money Grubbing Radiothon, I will address him as Josh. Good. Good. Uh, I think Josh, it gives it how can people support us uh, on the Naked Greed Money Grubbing Radiothon uh, to underrate the live show in Las Vegas? Yeah, later today. They will be able to pre-purchase their questions, so they can go on to the oh, store, right? And uh, for five dollars a question, they can give us five dollars, yes. and they can ask a question, which we will then answer during the uh, Naked Greed Money Grubbing Radiothon. Josh, Josh, uh, <laughs> during the Naked Greed Money Grubbing Radiothon, uh, underwriting the live show in Las Vegas, uh, will people just be able to uh, donate to the show? What? Well, I mean, they can donate. They can purchase. What are you looking for? Just naked greed money. Yeah, I would they can, say they, they can could... send us. You know, questions start at five dollars. Okay, you can right. spend even more if Very you good. think it's a really. Tough but I mean, question, I, I I think put that more that's... money behind it. Okay, I get it. I get. And it. then they and... could also just donate a question and then say, "I have no question." I just Wouldn't like that be you lovely. Guys. Yeah, uh, I think that'd be so lovely. So that comes up October fifth, seven p.m. Uh, it is a cocktail party show. Uh, Rob will be drinking uh, Dr. Gotta, Pepper. I think Dr. Go Pepper. Weird yeah. sodas. Maybe I'll do some weird sodas. I'll go shopping. We didn't on get to that six. last time, right? No. With the uh, no. with the. By the way, the last uh, cocktail show, horrible energy, absolutely horrible energy. Don't worry, she uh, might not be here. It's not just her. It was the whole thing was weird. That's why was, I quietly deleted it. It was. Uh, <laughs> you cannot go back and watch that. So you no never know exists. what's going to happen. Uh, well, to that's be good. fair. I mean, burn it. Burn it. Mike, put it in a trash can. The last mm-hmm. cocktail hour, the very first words out of your mouth are, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I remember that. So that kind of set the tone. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I said to Rob, it's not just Carrie. It was no. me too. Yes. I, yeah. uh, I came in with a bad. I However, will not. it was yes. not me. I was no. great. You were great. You were absolutely <laughs> great. Well, you are working at a disadvantage, and I don't want to make that like no, I want fine. you to change right. uh, or go back. I just want to say that uh, it's going to be I'm going to come in oh. uh, with costume 
for the Naked Green Money you didn't Grubbing even Radio. Mention, you didn't even so, mention the fact we're going to be costumed. We're going to be costumed. doesn't have to be a Halloween costume. It, we're just going to be dressed in some kind of finery. If Rob wants to put his tuxedo jacket on, he can do that. If I want to come in with a, a weird hat, I can do that. It what doesn't matter. What if I matter. were to go yes. with a tuxedo and a pencil-thin mustache? B fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> fabulous. What if I really darkened my beard? I'd love it. Like, right. really Blackstone it? <laughs> yes, Blackstone beard. I might, do, I might very well do that. I'm very excited. Josh, uh, you know, maybe a wig. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I did pick. I did. I was looking at costumes because our kids want us to dress up for Halloween. Okay, very. Yes. And I was looking at different adult costumes, right. and I like saw adult one adult like sexy or adult like no, size, no, like appropriate for the show. Okay. Are you ready for my idea? Well, yeah. I had an idea. I well, showed let me it to get my, mine first. My I've wife, a, and she I, told me no. I've oh. got a. Re oh, really? Okay, maybe we have the same idea. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Beetle Josh. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I knew Rob that's not like a bad that. idea. I like that one. Beetle Josh. <laughs> Except for the makeup. Thank you, Might Rob. Be a bunch of makeup. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Just came that's, up with that one. That's really sensational. It beats my Beetle idea Josh. for myself as I was considering buying an eyebrow pencil and coming as Jelly Roll. <laughs> oh, God. I like that if one. If you can do that. <laughs> yes. If you can do that. Oh, I am. I'm being I'm being lapped by you guys already. No, because because these costumes for the this screen, is fabulous. It's, it's just, cause it's just a headshot. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. a headshot. Yeah. Does yeah. he wear overalls? What does he wear? I think he does wear uh, overalls. I'll and... have to get my overalls out and do jelly roll. Oh my That's that. god! I like that. Jelly roll. Oh, <laughs> je jelly roll and beetle Josh. What the, well, we got plenty of time to think yep. about it, but yes. uh, don't forget, it's the Naked uh, Agreed Money Grubbing Radiothon uh, to underwrite the live show in Las Vegas. We truly appreciate it. By the way, we are very, very excited uh, to see you in Las Vegas. We have a ton yes. of people, seriously, if I, and I have to be serious about that, even when I say underwrite. Uh, for the people that are coming, uh, bring your drinking shoes. There you go. That's all I wanted it's to say. It's a thirsty uh, crowd. That's about all. that. And uh, how's everything with Vegas? The people out in Vegas, are they happy, Josh? Are they looking forward to us coming out there? Yes, they are. They have not responded to my emails in two weeks, and I'm a little annoyed. Okay. I put in a phone call yesterday. Okay. All right. Is it but they're, good that but they're they fine? Right? But we're all set. We're all set. We've got contracts and everything all worked out with them. We're done. I'm we're just that. concerned that the lady who I've been dealing with has not been getting back to me. Ah, so. all right. Okay, will you let me know as soon as she does? I will. I will. We still have the place. We've we got, the, the, we've oh, got, we've got the, the pool deck. Everything's all set. Everything's fine, and we're, we're going to be good. just down in the casino. This Nothing lady, formal. It, right. She's probably just preparing for the hurricane or something. I'm in not Vegas. sure they're getting yeah. a hurricane in uh, Las Vegas, but it's going to be fine. very, very exciting. I, yeah. uh, I, I really, I, I look forward to it. Now, last thing before uh, we uh, get to the roundtable here, I mm -hmm. want to talk to uh, Josh Soroka. And, man, I'm trying to goose my wife to like this show. So Josh rolls on me a couple of times with a reco for this particular program called Bad Monkey with Vince Vaughn. Now, this is I, not the chimp documentary. This is a no, different show. No. Bad Monkey, uh, it's, a, it's a Carl Hyacin piece. He's involved in it. And for those of you that love his books down here that all take place around Florida, this is the goods. If you want to be distracted from your troubles, I love the old school style of this show. I love the detective angle of this show. And as far as Vince Vaughn is concerned, ladies and gentlemen, this is written for Vince Vaughn. It is perfect for Vince and Vaughn. And it's the right balance of young Vince Vaughn and old yes, Vince Vaughn. Absolutely. Mixed flawless uh, as How far do, as this is concerned. You need to explain that, like his attitude? or do they well, Okay, here it is, or? Rob. There's the swingers Vince Vaughn where he's a smartass. Yeah, sure. And then it's the old Vince Vaughn where he's uh, the dramatic actor. Right. And uh, then there's the in-between Vince Vaughn where he was the circus clown with Owen Wilson. Right. This is the young swingers Vince Vaughn and the old dramatic actor Vince Vaughn. And this hybrid is it works for a, you. an absolute win. Uh, it, it's re it's really fantastic. It takes place in uh, Miami in the Keys, which I love as a backdrop well, for television they shows. They say that Carl Hyacinth captures Florida better than any author ever has. It's the, just the, the flavor the, of it. And the shooting of this, uh, it, you know, being a Floridian, I love the, I love the backdrop and real backdrop. I'm When he's riding a bicycle down the main street on Duval Street and you're going by Sloppy Joe's, that rocks my world. I love that so 
Check it out. Bad Monkey on, uh, uh-oh, is it? Uh, where it's is on it? Apple. It's Apple. Just, uh, one of them streamers. It's, like, on, it's on Apple. Hey, Apple. W- question about Vince Vaughn, and I'm curious, because I don't know yeah. if we've ever discussed it. Did you right. ever watch his, and it wasn't his, I think it was Gus Van Zandt who did it, but his shot-for-shot shot remake of Psycho where he played Norman Bates? No. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know if it's everywhere on a streamer. I have the DVD, but... Now, hold took- on. Let me ask you what that means. So you're talking about... The recreation of Psycho, and he did it shot for shot? Shot for shot. Everything okay. is it, it identical. It came out in the 90s. Yeah, like, it was 90, like late 90s. 90, 98. 96, 98. 98. And it is so weird because Psycho, I mean, say what you will about me, but I think two of my favorite movies in the world are uh, to watch at Christmas are uh, Mir- <laughs> Holiday Inn and Psycho. And every time that my mom and I make fruitcakes... We watch yeah. Holiday Inn and Psycho. I look, Psycho, we, we're, we're both broken. That's why I like Mommy Dearest at Thanksgiving. Psycho is, I have it, just such a part of my 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 brain. I love it. I think the, the house is a great character in Psycho. So they put this movie out, and I watched it, and it's almost like a fever dream because you're seeing the same thing but different. The line reads- Is it black and same. white? No, it's in color. And they had to build a new psycho house and everything. Anne Heche is the lady that uh, Marion Crane, and it's just you, so. So I didn't know that when it came Let out, me, it was on, pretty successful, DVD. wasn't it? No, it was a disaster. Hold on one oh, second. Oh, it was a disaster yeah. because I I knew that the you know that Vince Vaughn was in this movie. I didn't realize that they were doing it uh, matching the uh, shots for. It was, yeah, Alfred, it was Alfred Hitchcock, right? Yeah, who it's did the that. old Hitchcock movie. I didn't know it was shot for shot. Look at that room. Um, Look at that stuff. God, that guy has a lot of stuff. His collection. He? He really and, and that's the stuff that's nicely organized. Yeah, Mike, absolutely. as you know, I have the collector's edition. There you go. Oh, I'm but, looking. It's it's available on all the, like the purchase streaming services. Okay, so $4. they have. It is Gus Van Zant who directed it. It's uh, Anne Heche and Vince Vaughn, and if I am not mistaken. Also, yeah, Julianne Moore and Viggo Mortensen. So it's got star power. Okay. It's just a surreal experience, especially if you know Psycho very, very well. It's mm-hmm. a great double feature. But it's just he is as creepy as Norman Bates as anyone can be. He's and young, creep. skinny Vince Vaughn. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So it's a, he's a great creep in it. The, so either magic check out... Things- Check about that it. out from uh, the Reco from uh, you know Retro Ronnie over here, and then uh, <laughs> check out Bad Monkey uh, that's uh, on Apple, and uh, you will be if we highly have, entertained. If we have one more minute, have either of you taken in the new Matlock? <laughs> it's a lady, right? No, it's it's, it's, Bates, it's a lady. Right? Yeah, it's Kathy, it's Kathy Bates. Bates, and it is twisted and weird. And Carrie thinks it won't go. I think it will go. I think it's they've got a weird plot structure that is revealed at the end no spoilers here it's not what you're anticipating but kathy bates jason ritter oh mike a new chance for you to do bo bridges too and boy is he bo bridges hey how you doing i'm bo bridges <laughs> yeah, you, who you run that? a successful law firm bo hey hey robbie <laughs> what uh what, what what role does bo bridges play he plays the he runs the law firm that uh kathy bates oh, wants yeah, to be a part attorney, of attorney yes. <laughs> And his yeah. son is Jason Ritter. Hey, uh, Jason Ritter, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm Bo Bridges. <laughs> Not to mention my brother Jeff Bridges, who's coming over here. Yes, three. Uh, I'm a lawman. I'm a Texas Ranger. There we go. And I'm his brother Bo. Yes, three. We're fa- we're the Bridges brothers coming up here. I'm yes, not sir. sure I would watch. I'm not sure I would watch Matlock with spots on CBS, but it's a good. 42 minutes on uh, Paramount Plus. So check Hi, it out. Hi, Rob. I'm Jeff Bridges. I'm going to be doing a redo of Psycho. Ooh, <laughs> Who do you look play? At that lady. I play the mother. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, we got the round table. And uh, later on in the show, something new for my perv feed that I'm really not all that in favor of. Uh, but I, it's not like I look away. <laughs> uh, we will uh, be back. And uh, later on, some beautiful video right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. Stay safe, Floridians. We'll keep you posted on that as well, even though people listen to this show five days later. Uh, moving oh, right along. God yes. mother. I, well, you know, I'm uh, covering all the bases here. I hear you. Uh, welcome back 
Pesty. Yay, uh, Pesty. Yeah. Let's face it, everybody has to deal with bugs in and around your house. If bugs are even a minor problem for you, you have to check out our next sponsor, Pesty. Uh, they are wonderful. Summer winding down, people, and the nights are getting colder. Spiders, ants, other uh, bugs, they're looking to find somewhere warm to nest. I don't with like pesties. spiders and snakes, Mike. I don't like spiders and snakes, and that ain't what it takes to love me. Like I want to be loved by you. Stafford. Uh, with Pesty's <laughs> do-it-yourself pest control, you can make sure they don't choose your house. Mike, yeah. I've used Pesty. Um, yeah. It is easy. It took me like maybe 12 minutes to do my entire house, mm -hmm. and I didn't get an ant all summer. And we got, we got ant trouble. I'll, I'll be honest with you. There's ants in my neighborhood. We got and ants we right got here ants. in River City. And it, it, it just totally deleted the problem. Thank you, Pesty. It's fantastic. Pesty is on a mission to provide pro-grade pest control products at an affordable price. With Pesty, there's no more waiting all day with stacks of cash for the bug guy to show up when you can't spray it yourself. You can just spray it yourself, folks, in a few minutes. Pesty makes a customized yes. treatment plan for you based on your locations, bugs, and climate. And the best part, Pesty is kid and pet friendly, so you don't have to worry about their safety. Plus, Pesty offers a 100% bug-free guarantee or your money back. Seriously, no questions asked. Now is the time to protect people. Protect your home from bugs for less with Pesty. Head to Pesty.com slash TMOS and use code TMOS for an extra 10% off your order. That's Pesty.com slash TMOS for 10% off. And make sure you use our promo code TMOS so they know that we sent you, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the roundtable, people. Hot news, Josh. This is hot news that you need. Right news you press. can use. Uh, this didn't technically come from a tabloid, but it is a pretty <laughs> dubious claim. Good setup. <laughs> so it should be treated with just as much skepticism. Understood. Singer Jaguar Wright claims that Diddy is raising money by selling tapes of his freak-offs. You've heard about his freak offs? I have. I've been to two baby of them. Baby oil and all. Yeah, sure. Uh, apparently, he's selling this on the dark web. We don't have any corroboration. Josh, uh, do you just... have any experience with the dark web? You're an internet I, guy. I have. I know. I saw another dark web story this morning, and my thought was, uh, what is the dark web, and why do all these people? And nefarious people know how to use the dark web. Yeah, it's like, super what's the point? secret. I think it's not a www thing. It must have a different prefix. According to Jaguar Wright. Diddy sold one of his freak off tapes on the dark web for five hundred million dollars. Oh boy! I don't buy that. No, I don't think it's true. See, again, hey, it's, hold on, it's time. Hey, Diddy everybody who had Tuesday know yes. how to use the dark web. Mm hmm. Yeah, criminals. Yeah. Right. I just said it with like criminals. The criminals yeah. do. Well, well Mike, it's it's the criminals. If, it's the no good nicks out there. And if yeah. I buy something for five hundred million dollars, I'm showing everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, hey, Bo Bridges, supposedly. have you ever been to one of the freakouts? Oh, every one of them. <laughs> Hi, I was on the list. And while yeah. we're talking, was Reba McIntyre there? <laughs> hey, Reba, introduce yourself to the fine people. Hey, everybody, this is Reba McIntyre. Supposedly, there are some major <laughs> celebrities in the video, including Nicki Minaj, yeah. Justin Bieber, Drake, Rihanna, oh, yeah, all the people, and James Chris Corden. Brown. Yeah, uh, James Corden. Right. She added that it was, quote, a really interesting night in Calabasas. Uh, for the record, she didn't accuse any of these stars of doing anything illegal. I think it's crap. Crap. Yeah, I, There's, yes, I saw an interview um, that came across my TikTok yesterday of the rapper Lecrae, which is a Christian rapper who's gotten a lot of cred in the outside the Christian world okay. about him sharing about being at a P. Diddy party. And everyone telling him how he has to leave by by midnight, because that's like when that. the bad the griblies. Yeah, come. and he says he didn't believe him, and he said, "Well, I'm fine. I, I'm used to being around stuff." And he came out uh, out of the recording studio in the house like 15 minutes before, and saw a bunch of men going at it on the couch, and realized, "Oh, it's time for me to leave." Wow! Mm. Right. And so somebody I, walking around with all these known. baskets. You want oil? You want oil? Mm -hmm. Right. You it want was oil? Known that this is how it was. That's a new sounder. What does that mean? Do we taking yeah. the tenth caller? Yeah, someone getting a phone call. <laughs> Can you hear the 
The weed whacker? Yeah, I for a second thought it was the hurricane coming. No, that was the uh, that was a call coming in because they didn't mute my telly. Oh, okay. Uh, this morning, let me do that. That's a good idea to uh, you young broadcasters. Hey, that that's, a good idea. <laughs> that's, good, uh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Well, who had his phone on during the show? That's trouble. Uh, now, how about a how about a kinder, gentler uh, story? You want that? Let's time, do that. Mike, please. Michael Bublé made his debut as coach on The Voice last night, but he's been offered the gig. But he's been offered the gig at at least uh, fifteen times, at least fifteen times over the years, and he's always turned it down. Why? Because quote, most of the singers are better than me, he says, and I have no place ever judging. <laughs> no anyone. lie, no lie. They're better than him. I've got what you don't like Bublé. You're not a fan. He is a guy that copies style, and you're the one that talks about his lazy singing. He has a lazy consonant in there too. Uh, he's just not a technically good singer. I don't think he's um, that great. But apparently he finally uh, figured out that coaching isn't the same as judging because he now says, quote, to get to coach them and live the fantasy of having this career that I've had and then to get to have the fulfillment of helping someone else get that, that's the cool part. Nice thing. Nice guy. Soft story before you insulted him. It was he's, perfectly okay. Guess he needs. To, I wonder if he has a Christmas album coming out. <laughs> Rob, the only fan, good Josh. thing the only uh, good yes. thing he ever did was a Saturday Night Live sketch with John Hamm, where John Hamm pressured him to opening a restaurant called Ham and Bubbles, and they sold ham and champagne. And he said, "But my name is pronounced Buble." He said, <laughs> "Shut up." <laughs> That's, I like that. Uh, if you ever wondered what it's like growing up as the kid of a famous musician. Lily Collins, oh, she's lovely. Uh, she has given us some insight. She says that she has childhood memories of her dad Phil's music with Genesis. I God, I love Genesis in the day. In the day, they were one of my something. old go tos. Uh, but she didn't know they were real until she got older. Listen to this. Here's her quote: "Because they were like in my head as I was maybe in the womb. Uh, but when I went to the first Genesis concert that I actually remembered as an adult." There were songs that came on uh, that I went, that's a real song? So I, bu I buy it if she was around so that, cool. right? That's uh, very cool. She thought it was just a melody in her head. It was really weird. Lily says she has too many favorite songs of her dad's, but if she had to pick one, it would probably be In the Air Tonight, which is a lot of people's favorite songs. Did you so. um, did you lose your uh, shine on Phil Collins when he was overplayed in the 80s, or did you always yes. stay a fan? Yeah, okay. uh, Phil Collins. I could, I could give you the artists that were overplayed. Phil Collins. Lionel Richie. Uh, Hall and Oates, I know you Hall, hate. Hall and Oates uh, overplayed uh, with that. Kenny Rogers yep. overplayed. As that. Yeah, all the ones that uh, you know that they overdid, that they overexposed. But they were hit machines, and they were well-produced. Fun so fact, that's Mike. Why. Yes. Phil Collins was an extra in A Hard Day's Night. In the, the uh, Beatles the documentary back in the day? Well, I mean, yeah, the motion picture. He was in the audience. There. It wasn't a doc, to... right? It was a No, real it was movie. made to look like a documentary, but it was just a fun movie. But he was an extra there. So he's been in music a long time. That's very cool. To-do lists can help you stay on task and get more done. But is it possible that you're already getting too much done? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I don't mind telling you. If you are feeling overwhelmed, think about making a to don't list instead. By the way, all the people going, hey, overwhelmed? You come in just jump for an hour. Lick my Irish bag. Lick my Irish bag. You weren't up at 5.30, taking the trash out, taking the dogs out. If Carla's going to – I'm doing that for Carla because this morning she asked yes. me to take the trash out and take the dogs out, and I was having a little trouble curating my show prep today. Yes. So I uh, I had her do it. So if she hears that, that'll piss her off. I, it was just right. fun. Yes. I missed I missed taking the trash out yesterday. Yes. It's so a, now now yeah. I've got to hold it an extra week. Oh, that's not no fun good. in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, especially with kids. I can skip with just me and Carrie, but well, the kids and the – and Rain coming with the hurricane. Yeah. I'm going to be finding some random dumpsters later Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll have garbage soup. Uh, feeling overwhelmed? Think about making a two don't list instead. Listen up. Okay. To don't lists are for all the non essential things we do that suck. Uh, I just put suck. That suck up our time. Oh, okay. This suck. sounds like it might, that's the sentence story. I wanted so, to read. I read so the make sentence a list I wanted. Of everything I want to do. Right. And then exactly. just title it don't. Mm hmm. Mike, uh, this sounds a little teshy. This article sounds a little teshy. To-do lists are for the non-essential things we do that suck up our time. Or things we do a certain way that might not be so hard if we change <laughs> them up. A to-don't list might include things like don't overcommit to social engagements. Don't offer to do favors for everyone. 
Don't schedule meetings for before 11 a.m. And don't skip lunch just to keep working. Intelligence for your life. I'm Das Das Tisch. Josh, what's for lunch today? I know you never skip lunch. Ziti. Uh, <laughs> spicy or mild? <laughs> Lovely ziti. Spicy, always spicy. Uh, this is sad to me. I was what? a fan back in the day. Kmart just announced that uh, its last full-sized store in the yeah. U.S. is closing next month. Mike, I have a small video for you, actually, that I think you'll okay. enjoy. This will help you relive the good old days. Kmart. There it is. Kmart is more than any store you have known before. Lovely. Kmart. Look Kmart. at the parking lot. You get quality. <laughs> is that snow? There's it's snow dirty. and it's Friendly AMC Pacer. Kmart. Does not take it's long. okay. Yeah. It was suspended by Danny Kay. Did you know that? It was not. He's lying. Uh, the location of the last Kmart, Bridgehampton, New York, on Long Island. A smaller Kmart in Miami will be the last one operating in the lower 48. They also still have a few left in the U.S. Virgin Islands and Guam. The first Kmart opened in Garden City, Michigan in 1962. And by the early 90s, there were over 2,300 Kmarts across the country. But they went bankrupt in 2002 and merged with Sears. Boo. Then they went bankrupt again in 2018. Even the last location in Miami isn't much of a Kmart these days. They recently subleased most of it out to the home furnishing chain at home. The only part uh, that's still Kmart is a small section that used to be the worst part of Kmart, their garden department. Oh, man. Ew. The smell. Yeah. Don't make the mistake. I, America, I implore you. Do not make the mistake I made. I, uh, I went to KKK Mart, and it was a white sale. Yeah. And while the deals were it. great... Right. Uh, it's just I didn't like the people. Flags, sheets, everywhere. Yeah. Scissors. That's and all they sell in there. Garden yeah. department. <laughs> garden department. Right. <laughs> Finally, today, a robotics team in South Korea is developing something called a palatrone. That is a combination of a pallet and a drone. It can hover at a certain height while safely balancing whatever cargo you put on top, and it doesn't even have to be a basket. It's stable enough uh, that it's more like a table. So uh, a human still has to control it. There's a handle on the front like a normal shopping cart, and you exert a little force to direct it. Sure. If people leave this cart in the middle of the parking lot, it'll run out of batteries, but it will re remain stationary until then. Uh, these won't be showing up at your local Target anytime soon. They're still in the early testing phase where the carts are only holding about seven pounds of cargo. That's less than a gallon of milk. So yeah. I guess they're not ready quite yet. Uh, the developers say they believe this will be the most practical for commercial and industrial use rather than residential. So we don't know. Obviously, this isn't a finished product. So who knows what it may eventually be able to do. For now, though, just get more cashiers at Walmart. Please. Because Kmart's closed. Come on, yeah. ass. Hire all the Kmart people. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, bring yeah them get on. them over there. Yeah. 14 aisles. One man by a man that is ready to jump in the casket. Please. Want, Mike, no jumping. He'll fall No jumping the for him. Uh, we'll we have take a, a promo break. here, Mike. We and uh, we've got a promo here. Rob just said. We'll be right back. Another birthday has come and gone, and you still didn't get what you wanted. Right. And you've got some clothes to wear on the field. It's enough to make you feel like this. Womp, womp. But cheer up. Treat yourself to the amazing products at the Mike O'Mara Show store, including golf shirts, hoodies, dog collars, caps, and even T-shirts. Yeah, I don't like t-shirts. You'll love these t-shirts that feature the TMS logo, Bob Spiewak's Water Carnival, the new DGH print, and the Charlie for President tee. <laughs> All are pre-shrunk, 100% cotton, and come in a variety of colors that look great on you. Don't you want to be liked? You will with your <laughs> order at MikeOmeraShow.com slash store, and you keep that comedy flowing. Shop now, look great in Vegas, and you won't be a skibbity. And you're well, not, I'm definitely you're not Sigma. You know, I was on the phone Sigma. with my dad yesterday. He's yes. looking forward to Vegas, but he will not wear a Bob Spiewak Water Carnival t-shirt. Oh, that's a shame. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. I love it. I you look great. Yeah. What's that, Josh? But he'll be signing that. Of course oh, he will. Very exciting. And I love the Stu Wang Stabilec for President 1, too. Yes. And, uh, and I love the golf shirts, too. They haven't arrived yet, though. 
Uh, well, then you, you know, know what change your tense, Mike. We Josh, will. Josh, I'll the tell you. Shows. I'll tell you a little story. So, yeah. uh, I see uh, Mike O'Mara with a uh, you know one of those packages that uh, looks like it's got shirts in it, and yeah, I yeah. get excited and I bring it down and I open it up and there's a uh, ski cap in there and I'm like, mm. and then I look and there's a hoodie in there and it's real small. And then I see a little T-shirt uh, with that wonderful logo you did and that's real small too. So her so her stuff arrived before yours. Yeah. Mike, My, it's I was not like a, a ski little cap. child. I was like a little disappointed child yesterday. What? It's not a ski cap. It's a hurricane hat. It's a condom. <laughs> uh, I'm, you know, I am I, hungry, Rob. I am. Yes, go ahead, Josh. I thought, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to say it was your Chinese golf shirts. <laughs> no. I thought they finally showed up. No, they. I haven't. love Chinese golf. That's a great Chinese story. golf <laughs> shirts. Uh, hungry, I am are so, you? Yeah, do you have any suggestions for me for well, uh, I, some I do, food as a stuff? matter of fact. I do, because the problem with hunger is you can satiate yourself quickly and it doesn't last. What you need is protein. Protein in the morning will keep you full and satisfied throughout the day. Some protein. say 20 grams. Some mm-hmm. say 25 grams. I personally go for 30 grams of protein, and that's what you get with one One of the Orgain. sponsors of the show today, Orgain, yes. which is uh, coming up. I'm very yes. excited about that, protein. <laughs> Yeah, one of those or game. <laughs> yum yum. Thank you have you. one in your eyebrow there. Bo. I do. <laughs> Scrape it out. What uh, what suggestions do you have to get more protein, Rob? Well, you have to drink this or gain every morning. It is so okay. great. It tastes like a chocolate milkshake. No lie. Keep it in your fridge. Pop it out. Shake. We're not it. doing the Easy. commercial now for real. I, that's what I have scheduled. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You haven't done a commercial after the after the. Uh, the After promo. The oh promo. my God! I completely lost my place yeah. in the show because I was getting Rob been for Rob to, to talk about crunchers. You. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I was just uh, trying you, to stay on base. <laughs> do you have your or game with you? I have. I had mine. Or I can get one out of the fridge. Hold on. No, I don't worry. Mine. Don't worry. Don't, don't, right don't, Josh, hey, you go. got one. You're I had fine. one this morning already. It's delicious. I. I am going to look forward to having mine after the show. Uh, better for you products. Uh, Taste so bad. There's a the brand that has cracked the code with their chocolatey goodness, and that is Orgain. We love it. We're loving them as a sponsor for the show. Uh, they provide real nutrition that also tastes incredible. I love, love, love Orgain. 30 grams of protein, and uh, it's an excellent source of complete protein with all nine essential amino acids. Its chocolate taste is the best. It gives me energy, provides muscle support, and recover. Don't be laughing at me. I got I'm, all discombobulated. I'm just thinking back from like, I was really trying to figure out what you were trying to do. I was trying to get to the crunchers. <laughs> I, and we will, but I thought Sorry, you wanted to do I was so I was so ready to do the segue for crunchers, I forgot about our friends at Orgain. Orgain, that gives me energy, <laughs> provides muscle support and recovery, helps manage hunger, and promotes healthy weight management. Orgain is convenient, real nutrition with only one uh, gram of sugar per serving. And no soy ingredients or artificial flavors. Protein. 30 <laughs> grams of protein, and it tastes <laughs> it tastes amazing. Orgain 30-gram protein shakes available at Costco and Orgain.com. If you want to get in on the delicious protein-packed nutrition today, head to Orgain.com slash TMOS and use the code TMOS. That always confuses me. Just keep Head putting to it in. Orgain.com de- slash TMOS, yeah. and then you immediately let you say, use the code TMOS. I just told them to no, use the code TMOS. It's different. It's different. The best way to do it is to go to our website, click the Orgain uh, icon on the front page. Then when you're checking I'm out, talking put in about the copy. Yeah. Head Mike, to Orgain. Copy. Hor- Hor- head to Orgain.com slash TMOS and use the code TMOS. Correct. For 20%. What it is is, let me read the sentence the way it should be read. Right. Head to Orgain.com slash TMOS and use the code for 20% off your order. That's what you do. That's what you say. But they don't they know what know the code is. They, what what they, code? The co- Head to Orgain.com <laughs> slash TMOS. That's our code for everything. And then use the code for 20% off your order. Mike, the, the reason it's written the way it is is because we get credit if people go and visit the link slash TMOS. Then we get credit again if they use the code TMOS. Double credit. When checking out. 
stop it. So it's, I don't see like the way it's written, though. It doesn't make grammatical we get sense. Purchases. It's repetitive. It's got, there's got to be something separated between that. That's just the way I feel Mike, about it. I have every intention. I have every intention of correcting you. I have concepts of a plan. <laughs> Mike, your, your golf shirts will arrive today. Oh, I'm excited. From China. He- <laughs> head to our game. <laughs> Head to orgain.com slash TMOS. Then here's what I want you to do. Yes. Use the code TMOS for 20%. Mike, the golf shirts are here. Head to orgain.com slash TMOS. And then what uh, What should I do? There's a code offering when you check out. And what you want to do is put in those four letters. It's three so is, is, of does that So they go to orgain.com slash TMOS first, right, right? Right. Then when they're checking out, they use the code again? Yes. Okay. So put it in there. So when they uh, check out, use the code TMOS again. I thought it I'm was told, in there. Yeah. That's no, it's like. not. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. You understand it, but our listeners wouldn't understand. I don't know. I, you know, I, I never what? do this, but let me toss it to the chat. We've got a lot of people in the chat right now. People in the chat, do you understand right. the what the copy is, says? The sentence is, head to orgain.com slash TMOS and use code TMOS for 20% off your order. It's unrewarding to read. <laughs> Meaningless. <laughs> Remember, that's O-R-G-A-I-N.com slash TMOS for uh, 20% This is off. so important that I'm leaving this in the commercial free feed today. Well, and I'm people sure need to know. To use the promo code. Yeah. And we, there we, it is again. Make sure you use the promo code TMOS so they know that we sent you. But if they go to the website by saying orgain.com slash TMOS, they'll already know we used that they used our code. Not getting a lot of support in the chat room, Mike. Okay, uh, uh, read, read one to me. Uh, Shannon Fisher says, I think it was beautifully written. Chris Arnold says, I'm blinking twice to confirm understanding. Not Aesop says, almost poetic. And then Brian Mede says, the first TMOS is the legation you go to. The second TMOS is the promo code. And uh, also makes sense. Jeff Ward says, yes, understandable. Uh, I think we kind of nailed it on the first time out. See, Rob, when he gets it, when Rob, Mr. Audio Man, gets his little uh, swagger with his head there. Okay, I get it. Hey, hey, and Aesop, there's a good source for me right there. That dude, that dude who who curates the hate, the Michael Mary hate site. Just, Mike, I'm just saying what they're saying. That's all. You're saying, yeah, all your people. All your people. Oh, stop no, flogging me, t- Rob. Why are you turning the mic? Don't demean hey, stop me. Stop flogging me. Hey, stop so demeaning about, me. How about those crunchers? Oh, Mike, you know what's funny? People and what they eat. If you want protein, you don't want to drink. I just love being managed by Josh. That makes me laugh. Rob, he's going to go down and he's going to spiral. He's going to spiral. Get a bucket of water. <laughs> Pour the bucket. Do the cruncher story. Mike, uh, wellness is that, includes- It's eating dirt, I heard. Wellness influencers have said a lot of stupid things online. Yes. Like, remember, I think one of them was rubbing an onion on your face, and doctors are saying, don't do that. It's not going to cure acne. It's going to burn your skin. And it well, would t- make your, your skin worse. Yes, exactly. Well, TikTok's newest health advice is to go and eat dirt. Uh, they're saying that this biodynamic soil, that's what you can buy online, it comes in the form of clay and it helps everything from gut. And I'm sick of hearing about gut health. I Everyone am talks too. about gut health. Isn't that the Boo. one where people like, like they, they, they put people's, other people's poop up their butt? Yes, exactly. And that's a category too, by the way. But also, it's supposed to cure acne. <laughs> It's just good for you, Mike. Here's an example. That's right, Mike. <laughs> Say, isn't that that? Yes, it is. And further, Put it right up your pooper. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right now, I've got it up there. Right now, I've got my oh, brother Bo. Jeff's. Oh, Bo. <laughs> hey, here's your sample. I'm sorry. Bo Bridges sorry. put it in his eyebrow. <laughs> Great fertilizer. <laughs> yeah. Well, All tough. right. So people are eating dirt. They're eating dirt. Look, this is crazy. That's clay. <laughs> it looks like carob. Is it there's... flavored? No. No, it is not. Uh, they're saying that it, it helps with, as I said, gut health, reducing wrinkles, curing acne. But here's a shock. 
if you're eating, oh, she's dipping it in water. I suppose that helps. They're saying if you eat dirt, Mike, this will shock you. It could be dangerous. She can take another bite. Yeah, she is. That's, That's more like does. a rock than dirt. It really does. Yeah, it's bi biodynamic. She, and, and she is not having an easy time of it. No, no look at it oh, in her teeth. That's a huge. Yeah. Look at her teeth. <laughs> you can tell she's been eating dirt. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, another dangerous. big bite. Oh my god. <laughs> a little gag there. <laughs> Someone asked a nutrition expert about it, and they said, is it a good idea? Probably not. So Probably check with not. your doctor first. There's, sci it. there's no scientific evidence that uh, bases that's, that it's going to be healthy. And oh. also, don't forget, my dirt has heavy metals like mercury and lead, which are not good for you. Lady, don't eat that. Uh, we got to take another break here. And uh, hey, Rob, it's yes. time for a commercial. Uh, let I me wonder get right what it'll it. be. Yes, yeah, sir. How about naked wines? <laughs> hey, uh, oh, we yeah, gotta, we, need we to, gotta yeah, do we the gotta, fixer. At least throw it to spots. All right, we gotta throw it to spots. Here's the throw pitch. it to spots. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just managing my clock today, even though I really don't have to. We can stay here for six hours if all we want. day. Maybe one day we just will. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just stay here for six hours and chop up the show, just like a fine piece of sushi. It's fine hey, piece of did dirt. You, did you know Americans pay about twice as much for their wine as the rest of the world? Doesn't that suck? And let me tell you why. Uh, laws that go all the way back to prohibition, back in the day when people couldn't drink, ensure the right of wholesalers to make big margins. That's crazy. So listen up. This podcast is sponsored by Naked Wines, a subscription service that seamlessly connects you to the finest independent winemakers on the planet. Last two weeks, we had an anniversary dinner and we had a birthday dinner, both populated with Naked Wines. They were fantastic. Listen to this. Uh, they use the independent winemakers, the best ones on the planet, so you get a box of the market's best quality wines for a fraction of the price you'd normally pay in stores. Plus, you can pause or cancel at any time. Go to nakedwines.com slash TMOS and click Enter Voucher in the top right when you get to the website. Then enter TMOS for both the code and the password to get six bottles of wine for just $39.99 with shipping included. That's $100 off and less than $7 per bottle. NakedWines.com slash TMOS and use the code and password TMOS. Perfect. To grab six bottles for just $39.99. NakedWines.com slash TMOS. Code and password. Don't forget, TMOS for $100 off your first six bottles. And cheers, everybody. Hey, I like that. Some beautiful video. Uh, it's important to know, uh, for someone who has done this, and I have personally, ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, walked into a glass door before. Me so, too. Uh, but the good news about that, and I may have had an adult beverage or two. I did I it did at this. work. I did it at Podville Media. I walked. I had a glass door to my office, and I walked into it. Not but did you it? bounce off or go through it? I went th right through it. It shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> but here's the thing. When you do this, yes. make sure... You don't do it while there's a, a mini ceremony going on outside. Let's uh, take a look oh. at this. Oh, this is he's... not cool. There's a watch for you. <laughs> it seemed like a very <laughs> reverent ceremony, too. Yeah, it seemed like a good <laughs> idea like at the time. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there are a number of videos that exist out in uh, Internet land that uh, concern a gag reflex. Uh, there, uh, there are a lot of them where somebody can go. Like yeah, that here's one right here. Yeah, we just watched one. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. There she is. Look uh, at that. Yum yum. Dirt. Eat dirt. dirt. Uh, <laughs> this young lady has a styrofoam reflex, uh, oh. and this one's pretty intense. Check this out. She's. Uh, Did anybody else like have like sound. specific sounds that bother them? For me, it's styrofoam. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's styrofoam. <laughs> like styrofoam rubbing against each other. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to open this. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to open this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, my uncle Sam used to avoid styrofoam sound, but he never gagged like that. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, I bet I, she doesn't own any new electronics. 
Please no. let me know if you think I'm putting too too many kids on uh, on on these uh, segments because I love little kids. I really do. Just this be careful. Is, That's what Diddy said. This is the this is the little drama queen here. Okay. She is a tiny little drama queen, and she's got a problem. Okay. Check out this uh, this wonderful little girl. This is so funny. I love this. This is gonna be hot, okay? Okay, but I don't care. It's gonna work. Do I? No. She has paint on her face. They're trying to rub it off. Yeah, she's getting the paint off. It's not coming off really good. It's not coming off really good. Please get it off. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, we're supposed to come off. We're supposed to come off, please. Just a minute, minute. She's she's desperately trying to get the paint off her face. Now she's going to pray. What is this happening? Why did I think about getting my face painted? Why did I think about getting my face painted? Oh, she is upset. Wow. All right, now the mom is going to take out a little soap. Okay. And she's going to wipe the soap on. She was just using it with a hot towel. Now she's using the soap, putting the soap on her face. Try to get the paint off her face. Try to get the towel again after the soap is on her face. And? Why was I going to go in the like this? Oh, it's going to off. That's great. That, that laugh at the end. That yeah. little girl's trying to be dramatic about everything. Because uh, yes. the mom set up the camera knowing she, knowing she was going to get that reaction. God forbid, priceless. God forbid you ever serve that child broccoli. That's for sure. She'll have a total full fledged meltdown. Or styrofoam. Uh, oh, styrofoam. Last week, I believe Rob was uh, talking on the bonus show about his trip to see the Clydesdales. Yes. And uh, we did a lot of talk about horsing, uh, horsies. Uh, and I will tell you that uh, when I saw this tape yeah. today, this is just for Rob. Thank and I you. Will, uh, now, listen, this is one, folks, uh, where you're going to have to go back and look at this video. But All right. uh, please enjoy my uh, horse video just for Rob Spearman. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for picking this out just for me. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. Yeah. Hung. Uh, is that, that, a, is that an Irish horse? It's a, No, guaranteed not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be one of those little mini horses uh, that they say. You Pony. guys know that uh, one of my all-time favorite comedians is Ian Bag. I love yes. Ian Bag. I try to get Ian Bag out to the world. Check out a little stand-up from uh, my all-time favorite, not my all-time, but one of my favorite okay. comedians. Take a look at uh, Ian Sister? Bag, ladies and gentlemen. 37. 37? Yes. How's it going? Everything turning out the way you thought it would? Perfectly. <laughs> Perfectly? Married? You married? No, not so much. <laughs> All right, that was your friend that just heckled you. That was weird. <laughs> is everything good? It's great. It's fantastic. Married? No, she isn't. <laughs> Are you looking for a man? Yes. All right, I got four brothers. There are four brothers at another she's 37. table. It's going to be fantastic. She's, she's a little older than you, but there's going to be snacks in the fridge afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, have you ever been with a young guy? <laughs> My dad right there. <laughs> <laughs> points at her father. Okay. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure the proper answer would have been no. <laughs> Not, my dad's right there, but if Dave wants to meet me near the bathroom. <laughs> Let's see him back. Oh, God, i got to go see him live. Uh, that's a I like his delivery. Are you looking for a man? Yeah, looking for a man? How about those four guys over there? Oh, that's your dad? Hey, how are they? That's why I like him back. Uh, we will be uh, taking a short brief break, uh, break here and uh, come back with more fun and more thrills. You, ladies and gentlemen, are listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, we sing too. Hey, there's a bit of a chill in the air, and that signals that autumn is fast approaching. Uh, heck, it's here. Not in Florida. A hurricane coming. Uh, Legacy Box. You can cozy up and watch something special this fall. Your family's home movies. Legacy Box is the simple 
and safe solution for digitizing all of your family's precious memories. By going to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS, you can enjoy 55% off when you get started with Legacy Box today. The process is simple. Send in your Legacy Box. You fill it with old VHS tapes, camcorder tapes, and pictures. Their team professionally digitizes everything by hand right here in the USA, and you're going to get it back on the cloud or a thumb drive along with your originals. Legacy Box digitizes over 15 different types of analog media, so whatever it is they got you covered after 10 years in business legacy box is the world's largest digitizer they have helped over 1 million families relive their wedding days baby's first steps and even taking your kids roller skating uh, go to <laughs> legacybox.com slash tmos to get an incredible 55 percent off buy today send it in when you're ready Go to LegacyBox.com slash T-M-O-S, LegacyBox.com slash T-M-O-S, ladies and gentlemen. Mike, uh, Jim Harbaugh, what is your take yeah. on Jim Harbaugh? We have a couple NFL tapes here. I think with me, uh, the the whole Harbaugh thing, because they've always been uh, with teams I'm not rooting for, right. I, uh, I believe the, the Harbaugh's are overdone you know i mean if uh, you know that's I'm just that's me uh you're a fan of the harbors because the yeah. coach is the baltimore <laughs> coach exactly. yeah okay Best. well uh jim harbaugh is uh with the chargers right now and, and uh, john has... and, and tito is with uh, the ravens yeah we just lost tito harbaugh he played bass so that's right we really did lose tito though didn't yeah tito we did Jackson. and no and you know what i take it, it back he played guitar jermaine played bass Okay, sorry. sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, but Jim Harbaugh has a weird habit. Uh, I didn't know that he spent the off season living in an RV. Uh, I also down didn't by know the that, river. I didn't know this. It's in full outfit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this no. is not cute. Now he's, now he's been hit in the cold tub, and he just gets in full outfit. Hat. No. <laughs> shirt still tucked in. So he goes fully dressed into the cold, the ice cold tub. No. And he's just sitting there. Just sitting there, he's like, "Hey, I'm like, you're fucking awesome." No, does he? Yo, Joe, does he have khakis in the day of cold up? Belt, khakis. No. I'm sorry, coach. Belt. Yep. I'm like, fully dressed. Do those those khakis? They keep a uh, little insulation, keep a little warmth in there. So that is uh, Joey Bosa who said that. Uh, obviously, a very bright man. <laughs> That is a great lineman, though, man. I mean, he'll he'll sack you. Uh, that I will tell you that. That's just weird that, that it's it is. fully clothed, you know, with, with a the belt. belt. That's what's going to Well, I don't know. Do you think Harbaugh is a guy who wears a fabric belt or a leather belt? Is this, and this is the, uh, this is the other Harbaugh, not the Baltimore yeah, right. Harbaugh. Yeah. Right. No, this the is Chargers John. Harbaugh. He's yeah. now with the Chargers, used to be with Michigan. Jim is with the Ravens. Oh, I misspoke no, that. Forgive me. John is with the Ravens. This is Jim. Oh, okay. so it was Jim Harbaugh. You were okay. right. Which, right, uh, which Raven, uh, which team in the NFL is Chico Harbaugh with? Or Zeppo. He's right, the one ahead. who plays piano, Mike. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, they should be preparing for a hurricane, but they're not. Yeah. In fact, they put out a video uh, yesterday that'll just make you feel old. They got some of their rookies to guess what pieces of 90s technology are. And this is funny because Robert, when he was doing work with the... Uh, with the uh, Monumental Media and the Capitals. They did something similar to this, but okay. this one really nails it. The first thing they hold up is, can you guess what this is? It's a VHS tape. Okay. This is, uh, back in the day, uh, and it's like a DVD. A VR, VR? DVR? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I don't know. This <laughs> is mm, a little DVD thing that you used to put in the, uh, was it called VCR? God makes right? me feel old. <laughs> he got it. Yeah, yeah. he did. Oh no! Okay, now they're hitting them Power Rangers. Rangers. Yeah, absolutely, Power Ranger. Yeah. Two thousands baby, and I played with Power Rangers. See, that's that that had legs. The Power yeah, Ranger. Okay. Floppy disk. This is like just a regular CD. <laughs> CD? I don't know. IBM. <laughs> IBM. Oh, oh, floppy oh. disk. Is that what it is? Floppy is that a floppy disk? Yeah. Hey, I would have never gotten that. He's like 24. He's I love it. football players. I do too. I really do. What are we doing here? <laughs> That's a floppy disk. God, I never heard of that. You know what? I can't get it. It just away. makes me look feel at old. those dudes too. I mean, those dudes—you just crush you like a grape. Absolutely, mad respect for the. Uh, well, what NFL. you do is, if they're going to beat you up, you hand them a floppy disk. You say, "What's this?" 
And then and you run go, away in the oh! And then you run. Right, exactly. My, Mike, earlier today you called out not Aesop, who just donated ten dollars oh, over on YouTube. Oh, because thank he you, loves not Aesop. Mike O'Mara. Oh, thank you, not Aesop. Thank you, thank you. That's very sweet. I appreciate that. That's very sweet. That what, can, he, and, he doesn't what? like me. <laughs> It's not always about you, Rob. You're, I guess you're, you're right. You're asking was, for another ten dollars. Yeah, in a way, I was. Uh, but let's move on, Mike. It's not a real big story if there is some sort of mishap at a rodeo. You know, when the the wild animals. And uh, is this the one where they escaped? Yes, it's eight of them. And here's the thing: this that's was funny. big story down here. They they had this on every local but, but news Mike, station down here. The thing that's so great is the rodeo was in Boston. Story out of North Attleboro <laughs> yeah. right now. Hey, look at that buffalo there. The the well, hey, that's you just uh, saw on that video. A bunch of them got on the loose over the weekend. They were spotted running through town. These videos are just amazing. Officials were able to wrangle up most of them, but one is still. They on got the, the last one right this now. morning. Right, with that's that, got to be a record. Tens, Alicia. Well, you know what happened is I was down at Duncan and I saw this uh, bull run by, and I said, uh, "I've never seen Duncan. like that in Attleboro." I love Duncan, and I'm Casey Adlick, and I'm smoking my cigarette outside. There you go, <laughs> fantastic, Starica. Watch out for the Starica. Yeah, yeah. Mike, you are not a cat person. I am. Hold not on, a Josh cat wanted person. to say something. Oh, I can Josh? tell. I oh. can recognize jo Josh. No, I was just ability. looking yes. that not Aesop has responded to Rob and sent one dollar for Rob. Ah! Nice. <laughs> Funny, funny, funny. We're going to be doing more fun like this on the uh, Naked Greed Money Grubbing Radiothon Cocktail Hour. Cocktail Hour. Thank you. Yeah, that, well, we can't do that until we catch that last bull there. I mean, yeah, that bull in somebody's backyard. I think that might be in somebody's backyard just running around all over the place. I don't understand. I was, if it gets I down just, to the habit, we are screwed. We I, I, are officially screwed. I was up this morning eating a pop tart. <laughs> You win. <laughs> hey, have you, you know what? You know what's worse than a bull running down the street, Robbie? What? A bull fatty. Oh my God! You ever smell a bull fat? <laughs> that used to be my rock and roll name. I uh, had a band called Bull Fats. I went out uh, out of town to a farm and I heard a bull fat. Farm. <laughs> Right, we're done. Okay, do last one, Mike. Uh, I know you don't like cats as much as dogs, neither do I, and I can't understand it. Look how pleasant this cat is that's getting bathed. Oh, oh my God. What's the matter with his mouth? He got bit by a bull. All right, hold on. Bit you got to play that back. You got to okay. play, and I'll tell you why. At okay, one from, point, from the beginning, he has right? like a he has like an AI mouth. The guy, the not cat, the, cat or the guy, the the guy that's the reaching. His mouth gets all stretchy and weird. It looks okay, like a, it was computer generated. Right, Check it out. See. I'll tell you this is from the beginning. Right, let's see this. <laughs> that's hard. I don't mind. <laughs> the cat going out of its mind. Great tabby. Oh, man. All right, here, right here. Ready? No. Okay. No. All right. No, keep going. There. Oh, it's just a uh, bend in the bend in the tape there. Yeah. You see the, the walls when, messed up too. Well, yeah. He put something on it with that teardrop. Yeah. That yeah, teardrop's so, not real either. So that's okay. that's just the way. And then the cat had to say. So you never She's still try. chewing. She'll be <laughs> chewing like into tomorrow. She'll, she'll be chewing till tomorrow. Show. Rob, I, got I, a new I wonder. TikTok for you to do. Oh, you got a new TikTok? Yes, yeah, very go good. Eat dirt. <laughs> you know, in, in elementary school, that's like an insult. Hey, you go yeah. eat dirt. Well, go hey, eat dead. Heavy metals. Uh, anyway, we want to thank uh, Mike from Mike's Weather Page for the uh, hurricane info. If you are in the state of Florida, keep your eyes open and make a plan if it's coming near you. I'll be doing that down here, and I'm not even in the cone of death. So uh, that's now. Uh, if we the got rain that. hits pretty hard, will you eat mud? I will eat mud because uh, the mud. Not by choice. You can say anything on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> the mud. Yeah. Filters out. Uh, the heavy metals that you can you eat. Can eat. <laughs> that you can eat. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Josh Soroka and uh, Rob Spiewak, Michael Mara saying so long, everybody. <laughs> Pop time. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara bonus show.
Get it at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Beep, boop, boop. 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 Beep, boop, boop.